what is good youtube nebula here back with another video all you guys are staying safe and staying healthy in this video guys i have a banger for you i have dropped 100 plus kills in call of duty cold war i got the nuke i got the brutal now, i did have a, a game where i did get 100 kills but now i got 100 plus kills i had like 125 123 something around that so this is a great video that i'll be uploading i'll have commentary over it just talking you know do what i usually do so i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys do please hit that like and subscribe and i did get this in nuketown i did use uh score streaks like the veto i got that like twice the cruise missile like three times the harp so those did help me achieve my uh 100 plus kill gameplay but hey i see youtubers doing the same thing so hey why not and then here, this is the class setup that I use, the AK-74U. I've posted this class setup multiple, multiple times on my channel. And I can't keep telling you guys, this is a great class setup to use. So make sure you guys use this in your loadout. If you, I know people use it in league play, multiplayer, just go ahead and put this in your loadout if you want to improve in your game. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe. And let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So I don't know if I really told you guys and how I record my videos, but I record it off my Xbox. So I'm not able to get like the gameplay live and all that stuff. These are all like uh, in theater mode. I'm really glad that Call of Duty Cold War added theater mode because this helped with a lot of my videos. Because if I never had theater mode, I would never get my 100 plus game with the LC10. I would never be, been able to show my nuclear um, so I'm really glad that I was able to, that Call of Duty uh, has theater mode. It's a blessing. But in this video, guys, I was shredding with the AK-74 U. I was going crazy with it. You know, in the beginning, it was rough. I kept, I had a bad start. But like at the end of the halftime, I had like 53 kills. And like I said, I never used uh like a VTOL, a crew, like I never used that stuff. I used like a UAV, a harp, and like a cruise missile. So like my score streaks, uh, or, or my kill streaks, I never really had that opportunity to go crazy. Like how I see YouTubers, they have like a VTOL, a war machine, and like just something else. They don't use like a harp or a UAV or a counter UAV. So that, like when you see their videos, it's like, all right, that's cool. They get a 200 plus kills, but they're over here dropping it like 100 plus kills with their uh kill streaks i'm not trying to bash on them i'm not trying to do none of that because i did use my uh kill streak so it did help me out it helps you out a lot but i like helping uh my teammates with uavs counter uavs or harps or just have like a cruise missile um i don't really use that much but i'm like you know i'm gonna try to start using it and i was just going crazy man like this ak-74 you is like different you know People talk about a weapon balance, but this gun is really, really good. This gun in the Krig, and I'm really trying out new classes. This double weekend XP with the weapon XP. I'm trying to level up all these new uh, Cold War weapons. I know there's like a new SMG that came out, so I'm going to try to go ahead and level that up. But like I said, guys, so all these are recorded in theater mode. Um, I just screen record off of my Xbox. I hop in theater mode. And then I just start recording. So that's why it might look, might look different when I die. It doesn't really show anyone that killed me. It just turns blank. Or like if my mini map looks different. Or like the way I just get kills looks different. It's because I'm in, in theater mode and it's not live. So I just want to address that before I go ahead and start talking about something else in the video. The thing I want to talk about in this video for the rest of it is music and how literally the world revolves around music us kids love music parents love music like music is just a very big part in today's society and you know like yeah, it's helped me through a lot like listening to sad music whenever i'm sad listen to hype music if i want to get hype you know like music can put you in like all these types of ways and me personally, I just want to go ahead and talk about some of, the, some of these artists. And I know a lot of people are 
talking about it on uh, TikTok with a rapper named Pop Smoke, um, R.I.P. Um, and they're over here talking about his album, Sings Unfinished, and all these features and all this stuff. And I mean, you know, people have their own opinion, but to be honest, my opinion on the album, you know, I enjoy it. I like the album because, you know, it's good to hear like Pop Smoke's voice. I know it might not be like the same as when he was alive with his other albums, but it's still nice to produce what people always wanted. They were like, oh, we want an album. We want this. We want that. So people are always begging, begging for an album. And when it comes out, it's like, oh, it's unfinished. Oh, it's this. It's this and that. It's like, you know, what are you supposed to do? You can't really do much. They have passed away. And of course, it's not going to be finished, you know, but they're still producing it for us, for the fans. And me, like, I understand they're like, oh, there's all these features and all that stuff. But maybe they're trying to help other people grow and, like, get the names out for themselves. Because there's this one rapper in particular, and his name is Busy Banks. He's like, I think he's from, like, Brooklyn. And he's trying to make a name for himself. And I know he came out with this album because my friend is from New York. And he told me about him. He was like, man, listen to this guy, Busy. He has like that same drill as Pop Smoke. You know, he's not the same as Pop Smoke, but if you want to listen to that New York drill, go ahead and listen to him. And I was like, all right, bet. So I was listening to him. I'm like, man, this guy go hard. You know, like he got good music, got that drill, uh, Brooklyn. I, yeah, I think he's from Brooklyn uh, music. You know, it's kind of like the same as Pop, but it's not really the same. And like, um, I was listening to Pop Smoke's album Faith, and it, it had Busy on it. Um, I think that the song that he's on is Thirty, and like Busy, you know, he was doing his thing, and I'm like, wow, you know, like see how like crazy that is. Like this man, like I don't know how big he is in like the United States, but I don't think he's like maybe he uh, might have got like a million views on like a song like on like uh, Hit the Block or something like that. I know that's a very popular song that people listen to. Maybe he's only like in New York and Brooklyn that people listen to him. But when I saw him on Pop Smoke's album, it's like like Pop Smoke. This Pop Smoke is like worldwide, nationwide. And having like a guy like Busy Banks be on his uh, album being a feature, like that might help him grow his platform. And like, I understand like, you know, you don't want to use Pop Smoke because he passed away and all these features and all these people are just using his name. But I don't like me personally, I don't think they're trying to do that. They're trying to produce music for their fans. And of course, if it's unfinished music, you know, you're going to need features. But like, you know, like I know Quavo, Pushy T was on it and some other people. On, I mean, it might might have been people that don't really know them, like some no names, but like. I knew Busy. He's a Brooklyn rapper and he's really good. Has that same drill. So go ahead and check him out because Pop Smoke's album, you know, there's some good songs. You know, like, this is good to hear new music from a rapper. And I know it might be hard for some people because they're like, oh, it's unreleased. I mean, unfinished. But like, you can't really do much. So, you know, Pop, check out Pop Smoke's new album, Faith. 30 you know i know this is a call of duty gameplay and i'm over here talking about music you guys are probably like who is this guy who why is he talking about music but like i keep myself up to date with music like like you guys i listen to music since what, the minute i wake up you know if i wasn't doing youtube if i wasn't playing sports shit i might have been a fucking artist in music or make beats or do something with music because like I have this passion for music, this learning, keeping myself up to date with all these rappers, like not even rap, like also like other people too, like hip hop artists, R&B artists, like all these other people, you know, but like me personally, I like listening to rap. So of course I keep myself more up to date with rap, but you know, there's no, not really reason to bash a Pot Smoke's album, you know, like I understand you guys want uh, finish music, but like it's gonna be hard and difficult, and they're just try to produce it for us fans. Speaking on the topic with music, I just wanna shout out Juice World because Juice World he's made a big impact in my life. I have posters of him, T-shirts of him, 
and I know his album is will be coming out soon. The party never ends. They're like in the process of making it. Like they're like ninety percent done with it, and I really hope that people just appreciate the music that's coming out because, you know, I bet it's hard for all their families. You know, making these albums and stuff like Pop Smoke's family, Juice World's family, Mac Miller's family, Lil Peeps, XXX family. Like they're trying to keep their their spear on and people are like oh we don't like it but i really hope that juice world's album will bring life to everyone the party never ends that will be coming out soon and i really really think it's gonna be a great song Uh, i mean a great album they're gonna have great songs and people should just enjoy the music that's getting produced for them because yes juice world had so much talent with all his like people listen to his unreleased music his released music and like people are like complaining oh i really hope there's not any unreleased music it's like what are you supposed to do if you're over here listening to his unreleased music like what do you guys expect to listen to new music like it ain't gonna work that way it's either you listen to his released music and enjoy that and they come out with uh, a new album and you guys heard that song you can't be like oh i already heard this song then the why you like try to search for that song it's unreleased like whoever got these leaks like you're crazy like i don't know how people how baby says like juice has three thousand songs and there's only like a, a couple hundred out like i don't know how are people getting all these unreleased songs but like people got to understand like bro if you're listening to unreleased songs don't expect you're gonna hear new shit if you're uh listening to his new album because there might be some unreleased songs. You can't really do nothing about it. That's your problem for listening to them, unreleased songs in that baby and all uh, their P, uh, grade A or whatever they pro- producing out to the public. So like, but I'm really excited for Juice Rose album that will be coming out. I know there's new upcoming artists that's coming out. So let me know down below what artists should I listen to because I am only listening to like a few artists um every single day and like i want to hear something new something fresh so let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think and i'm sorry that this is not me talking about my gameplay and this is more talking about music but i apologize for that and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys do please hit that like and subscribe i will catch you guys in the next video peace out